Hi, I'm Academic Bean, so I'm a physics PhD student and today I just wanted to talk about Overleaf, whether it's worth learning um, and kind of talk through some of the benefits, talk through the cons um, and kind of introduce you to if you've not heard of it. So Overleaf is a free online tool that you can use to edit text which is written in LaTeX. So LaTeX is kind of this kind of like a code, you write your document out in LaTeX and then when you press compile it compiles into a document. There's lots of different formatting things, you can do articles, you can do papers, you can do books and all of those kind of different styles are all kind of embedded into LaTeX software. What I have found is, so I learned how to use Overleaf and LaTeX in the first year. I know a couple of people who had used it at kind of A level, um, but yeah, that first year of uni I started using it and I started doing notes so I wouldn't do all my notes I do some paper but if something was particularly equation heavy I kind of was using making the notes as a way to learn overleaf and get used to it because it's kind of I'm copying the notes and it, it makes sense. I found that process obviously it took a lot of time but I was spending the time reading over lecture notes, I'm spending the time revising, I'd often kind of have music on, and it made the process of doing that work kind of enjoyable. And when I was doing this kind of transferring everything to Overleaf making notes, it was kind of giving my grades a bit of a boost. So I don't really mind um, taking the time and having that learning with that. Um, it obviously depends how much time you've got. I don't necessarily suggest doing notes in Overleaf kind of a default, it's not what I do now but I do find it's quite nice. One of the main disadvantages is that it doesn't check your grammar. So I would say if you're someone who already struggles with grammar issues, or perhaps your spelling's not the best, or anything like that, you've got kind of two options. You can either use Microsoft Word and have the kind of grammars kick going in there, um, and use that as your primary place, or you can actually copy and paste like large chunks of text into Word, check them for grammar and then copy them back. <coughs> One thing I do like about Overleaf is it automatically backs up, you can share it with people, you can see all of the changes kind of in real time, which is really nice when you're kind of editing the document for the final time, you can work through it quickly um, rather than sending over copies and then trying to match up the versions. There is a learning curve for sure in learning Overleaf. And I think if you're not in the sciences, it's possibly not worth it to learn Overleaf. One of the main benefits is that using kind of mathematical language or, you know, just inserting equations is very, very easy. So LaTeX is actually now compatible with Word. You can you can actually put your equations in in the form of LaTeX, which is great. It wasn't like that when I was first starting, um, but I find it still doesn't have the nice formatting that Overleaf and, you know, all these templates can give you. I know some people who go as far as to make, like, um, research posters in Overleaf. I personally wouldn't do that. I don't think that's the best way. I don't think it comes out in the nicest way. But I do think that Overleaf and LaTeX are a tool that is really useful to learn because a lot of, especially LaTeX, if you learn the formatting rules for LaTeX, for writing equations, there's lots of different softwares, lots of applications that will be compatible with that because it's a very speedy way to write equations. Um, but actually learning those commands can take some time and it's kind of the same as learning any code. You need to maybe Google, how am I going to do this? How to do that? What are the little quirks? Why is it not working? Those kind of things take time. And one thing I found very beneficial about making the notes is I was looking at lots of different mathematical formulas with lots of different types of formatting things and then by having to copy those into my notes I was able to learn all of these different for Overleaf which means that now I'm very quick at it. I found this paper that said that Overleaf or LaTeX in general is a lot slower and less efficient than Word um, and the way that they were kind of metricing that was just on words outputted. So yeah, it says simple continuous text, text with tables and subheadings, complex text with several mathematical equations. And I, I do agree that there was probably more grammatical and formatting errors because they're not going to be automatically fixed. What I find interesting is if you do it short or in just kind of what quantity of work is being produced, then maybe Word is quicker and I do agree with that. I use Word or, you know, just other text editors which are more simplistic like WordPad when I'm just doing very quick notes or I just want to um, bust out some text. I think where I find the benefit of using LaTeX is, is actually getting those equations. So regardless of whether or not 
you want to use overleaf, using LaTeX to write equations is the probably the best way. It's going to be so much quicker to edit things. If you've got a small mistake, it's a lot easier to edit. Um, and I just, I think it's one of the like optimal ways to do that. Especially once you've learnt it, you can be quite quick. I think for continuous text or, you know, just if you're writing a story type thing where you're not going to have any equations, you're maybe not going to have any references, LaTeX is probably not the best. Um, it's not optimized for that but it does still make a nice format and it's stuff like if you want to add columns in all of these tricks i've now learned in latex and i don't know them in word so everything i do in like is probably all equally achievable in word but it's kind of once you've learned one way you're probably not going to want to switch and even if it is um some margin more efficient it's kind of what what have you learned and what works best for you so i would say if you're at the beginning of university I would learn LaTeX if you're in the sciences, if you're anywhere in STEM, maybe engineering, anything where you're going to have very technical language. Because I think the process of learning how to embed equations and even just, you know, it might be a chemical formula where you've got um, subscript text, all of that kind of stuff is very easy to do in LaTeX and not so easy in Word, in my opinion. Um, it might It might be that if I spent time learning how to do it in Word, it would be a lot quicker, but I always found it quite tedious when I was doing stuff at A level to do that kind of thing. Whereas with LaTeX I made a lot more progress and was a lot kind of within a week of using it. So I hope that helped. Um, I would say give it a try, start with some different templates. It really does depend on what kind of documents you're trying to prepare. Um, they also always say that there's kind of an ego thing with LaTeX or people enjoy using LaTeX and I do think I enjoy using it a little bit more than I enjoy just using Word. Um, part of that could be the novelty of it but also it's quite a nice experience and quite um, seamless to insert the equations. You don't have to go looking through for different uh, Greek letters in that kind of massive table that they have in Word. You can just do uh, a slash and then write eta and then it pops up. And I think that does really speed things up if you're constantly using that kind of work. A lot of the high level mathematicians I know will use LaTeX just for that reason, because they're having to embed a local language, but it's probably not something you need to start doing before, you know, first or second year university level physics or mathematics or general science. I hope that helped, or was it at least informative. Um, goodbye!